Hi everyone, we're back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing three different types of pizzas from scratch. And I'm really excited because I've never made a pizza from scratch before, like doing the dough and everything like that. So this is going to be interesting. Um, we're going to do one pie as an Alfredo chicken. And then the second pie is actually going to be split into two different types of pizzas. One's going to be a tomato pie, and then the other one's going to be a barbecue chicken pie. So. You're going to go ahead and mix thoroughly the yeast and the water. Also adding here in the video is going to be the sugar. I'm going to set that aside to five to seven minutes and wait for the bubbles to form. That was the salt going into the dry mixture. And then once you see the bubbles, you're going to go ahead and add that all together and start mixing. You're going to go ahead and wrap the top set aside for 45 minutes in a warm area. So we show here very quickly that we put chicken broth concentrate into a water bottle and then we add that to the chicken because nobody likes dry chicken. And so it kind of keeps the chicken very juicy and hydrated. And we found that buying the concentrate is more cost effective than buying the chicken broth itself. And then we can just add the seasonings to it as we like.
Y'all, look at this pizza. It came out amazing. So we went ahead and put some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce on the one side, the barbecue chicken side, and then some salt and pepper on the tomato pie side. And it was delicious. You have, you cannot skip the step. You have to put salt and black pepper, preferably sea salt. Otherwise, it might, I don't know, you might not taste what I tasted, but it was delicious. Now, to me, this pizza still looks amazing, but let me tell you what happened here. Where I pointed with the knife, there was an air bubble that I just pushed down, but it caused some of the sauce to kind of slide out to the sides. And because this didn't have a formal crust, that's kind of what happened. So now you can see all three slices of pizza there, and they were good. All right, so after eating that pizza, I, I will say I will be doing that again. It was so good. My favorite was the Alfredo chicken. That Alfredo sauce really came through and it was really good. I think Chris's favorite was the barbecue chicken one and that one was really good as well. Um, the only different thing that I would like to do going forward, we did some different techniques with the dough and how it was laid out. And as you saw, I kind of did some something weird to try and make a crust, and it actually worked. So I think that going forward, I want to be incorporating that technique. Instead of just leaving it kind of um, like a flat crust, it was a thin crust type of pizza. And um, as you've seen on the Alfredo chicken pizza, it kind of had some spillage toward the side and I'm thinking that could possibly be because no real crust that was created and also because of the bubble that kind of spiked up and pushed some of the sauce to the side. It also could be because we kind of did a different technique as well. Um, less rolling pin, more natural, more hand tossed and just so that I can have a perfect pizza each time, probably going to do the rolling pin with the made crust, like the, the crust that we kind of made up. And so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, it really helps with the YouTube analytics. And I'll see you in the kitchen next week.